hello students last class you had studied some of the operators like relational logical and we had seen which are all the conditional structure statements and the looping structure statements today let us study them in detail first if then statement this is a conditional structure the if then conditional structure execute a set of statements only when condition is true otherwise the statements are skipped so that is first it will check for the condition you have given some condition as 10 is less than 3 if 10 is less than 3 execute these many statements something some statements some two three statements you have written so execute them so it will check for it 10 is less than 3 no it is false statement so it will skip all the three statements which you have written inside the if loop if condition so it will not execute these statements it will move after the if statements what are the statements written syntax of if then statement is if condition then statement and if see that is if you will write the condition as i said 10 is less than 3 then statements if 10 is less than 3 then add 10 then <coughs> then add a plus b equals to some is c c equals to something like that you will write some condition so if it is true 10 is less than 3 then it will execute the statement or else it will skip the statement and it will end the if and it will start executing the statement which is after the end if if the condition is true then it will execute these statements <coughs> for example if 10 greater than 3 then a equals to 10 b equals to 20 c equals a plus b then end if you will give okay so the <coughs> when it starts executing it will come here it will check if 10 greater than 3 yes 10 is greater than 3 it is true then it will execute this statement it will assign a equals to 10 b equals to 20 c equals a plus b that is 10 plus 20 c equals 30 so these statements will be executed it will end if and start executing again the next line but whereas when this condition goes false this whole statement is not executed if it was 10 less than 3 it is false then it won't execute a equals to 10 these statements b equals to 20 c equals a plus b the, if these statements will be skipped and directly it will come after the end if statement what are the statements given in this example a candidate is considered eligible only if the age is at least 18 years and height is at least 5 feet see here they have written the code age is 18 here they have entered it as 18 and the height is 4.5 but then here you have, you will write two if statements here you will write it as if if age equals eight age is greater than equals to 18 you will write it as then then statement will be given here you have given it as 18 so it will pass the statement and it pass the condition and it will execute the statement but here in the next if if statement you will write it as if height is greater than equals to 5 at least means at, at least it must be 5 or more than 5 so greater than equals to 5 here you have entered it as 4.9 the condition fails so the statements inside that if statement won't be executed it will skip those statements it will give it as enter your age you have entered 18 height 4.9 you will click on the check eligibility button that time a message will pop up as 
कैंडिडेट इज नॉट एलिजिबल बिकॉज हेयर द स्टेटमेंट इज इन ट्रू सो द कंडीशन इज इन ट्रू सो इट विल गिव कैंडिडेट इज नॉट एलिजिबल सो यू हैव टू प्रेस ओके हेयर जस्ट इट इज लाइक इफ कंडीशन एज इज एज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल्स टू एटीन एंड हाइट ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल्स टू फाइव देन गिव इट दस कैंडिडेट इज एलिजिबल देन एंड एफ एल्स गिव इट दस कैंडिडेट इज नॉट एलिजिबल सो दैट टाइम बोथ स्टेटमेंट शुड बी ट्रू देन इट विल गिव यू एस कैंडिडेट इज एलिजिबल हियर कैंडिड एल्स इट इज गिवन since the statement is false it will give you as candidate is not eligible if they had mentioned at least any one here they mentioned and you had studied previously the logical operator and means both the operand should be true so it should be greater a should be greater than 18 a greater than equals to 18 height should be greater than equals to 5 but if it if it was given as or then this candidate is eligible height age is 18 but height is 4.9 one can be true at least one should be true when it is an or operand so it would give it as candidate was eligible <clears throat> next the code for command button can be written using if then statement as below private sub command button one click this is for the this button click eligibility button so click dim message as string message equals candidate is not eligible so it will say pop up a message as a string so the message equals to the message equals to candidate is not eligible if value of text box 1 dot text is greater than equals to 18 and and see they have used the and operator and value of text box 2 dot text greater than equals to 5 then message equals candidate is eligible then end if message box message and sub so here as i said before they have written the code for that as and so both should be true then it will pop up a message as candidate is eligible if since here in that you have entered it as 4.9 it is less than 5 so it will not execute it as elig candidate is eligible it will pop up as and it will end the if and here it has given it as message box message here they have written as message equals candidate is not eligible so it will here when it comes it will give you as candidate is not eligible since if it was 18 and 5 that time it would have given it as message equals candidate is eligible since 4.5 4.9 is less than 5 it will pop up as your message that is candidate is not eligible and it will end the program next if then else statement the if then else statement allows the program to specify that different set of statements have to be executed when the condition is true than when the condition is false that is previously it was like <clears throat> if it is true then execute the statements which is written inside that if part or else just move to the next statement but whereas if else it it says you that if it is true if if means true if it is true execute these statements if it is not true else statements else, else part should be executed we'll see the syntax for it
if condition then execute these statements if the condition is not true then comes to come to the else part and execute these statements which are written within the else part and end if very easy students if condition then statements if this is not true then come to else statement and execute the statements within the else and end the if the code for the above read it in using if then else the program for this one they have written using if then else let us see how to write private sub command button one dim message as string they haven't see here previously they had written it as message they declared it as message candidate is not eligible but here they haven't declared it we'll see why it is not declared if value of text box 1 greater than 18 greater than equals to 18 value of text box 2 dot text is greater than equals to 5 then message equals candidate is eligible so if it is 18 and more more than 18 and more than 5 then it will execute as candidate is eligible else since they have written you have entered it as 18 and 4.9 it is false so it will execute the else else message equals candidate is not eligible see so they have given it in the else part else message is not eligible here they had given it as first only they had declared the message as candidate is not eligible and here they had declared it as here message to execute but here they have written it as else msg is candidate is not eligible end if message box msg end sub this is the same program using if then else thank you students